yeah, <laughs> um, it felt I haven't scored in quite a long time actually, um, but it felt it felt good like, and we needed it really just to take the pressure off a bit because we were we were chasing the game because we knew we had to win it and yeah it was a it was a bit of a let off for the lads and we could chill out a bit then after that and then try and get another goal which we did so yeah. Did you strike it perfectly? I mean, it was right in the corner, so we can't complain about that. Yeah, that's just like cut inside, and I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to bend it in, but there was loads of like legs dangling, so I just kind of like p rolled in, didn't it? So yeah, every every goal counts, so I'm not really bothered how it went in. Yeah, <laughs> but it was one of those goals where you'd link well with the with the front players. You know, it was cleverly worked, wasn't it, to make the space for you? Yeah, um, that's what I've wanted to bring into my game, just running off the front players and getting into the box and trying to score goals. Uh, first half I was unlucky with one at the end the, at the end of the half and Kane set me set me off again and it got blocked. So I just wanted to do that again when we were when we wanted to score. So yeah, it was good set from Kane. Um thank thank him for that and then done done the business at the end yeah. But the Bebbington Cop end as well, you know, to be able to celebrate with the the, the body of the fans there too. Yeah. First goal in the cop end, which is yeah, it's good. It was it was good. They were they were brilliant again tonight as they were on Friday, and it really really helps the players and they got behind us again. Yeah, I seem to remember in your debut actually, you had a chance very very early on in that game and almost had your first goal. Then you've had to wait a little bit of time for it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I need to score more. To be fair, the first the first shot just come a bit too quick for me then. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting to get in the box and get on the edge of the box and start to fall out too. But I think I could have had a pop on Friday when it fell out to me, but I passed it wide. Um, but if I keep getting in, in them positions, I need to back myself to that I can finish, and then I'll start picking up more goals. And yeah, just talking to the gaffer about it there, and he's sort of saying, yeah, you know, he, he thinks that's going to be in your game, but we need to remember sort of how young you are, and you're, you're still sort of learning all about your skills and also the skills of the players around you. Yeah, I'm learning, learning if something new every day when I'm when I'm here um, on the on the training pitch. I'm just learning. I'm learning a lot um, every game. It's just. I'm starting to pick, pick part of my game that I haven't found in a few in the last few years. So, yeah, I'm, re I'm really happy with how it's going. Yeah. Just like your parent club as well, you know. I mean, you know, great set of fans at Goodison Park. You know, they really get behind the young players, don't they? And, and, and likewise here as well, that they give you a real chance and a real boost. Yeah, they do. It's very similar when we're when we're winning and we're doing well. Uh, they all they're all encouraging and they encourage like the young players that are playing because they know it's. It's not always going to be easy for them as we're not very experienced as the other lads are. So they they they've helped me since I've come and I love playing here. I love playing at Prenton Park and it. I look forward to tonight and I couldn't sleep like the last few days <laughs> waiting waiting for the game after Friday. So yeah, it's, it was good here. Yeah. And it's been tough away from home. I think we spoke after the Hartlepool game and everybody was down after that. But uh, you know these two home victories, you know, give you a real boost and, and 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 right in the mix still. You know, I mean, it's going to be a really exciting end of the season. Yeah, it's the most important. We've got the players to to play and to get the ball on the floor and away from home. We kind of come away from that a little bit. We get roped into teams that play that way, like Northampton, and they just they just back and forth and try and hook it on. But now we've got we've got the confidence behind us that we can play. So. On Saturday, we need to translate that on the pitch, and as as soon as we can, just get the ball down, try and call teams open. Yeah, and it's sudden. I mean, you know, I think they've lost a couple of games recently. I mean, but they've had a really good season as well. A difficult side to play out again. What's the boss said about that mentality? You say about making sure you play your game rather than being sucked into what the opposition want you to do. Yeah, um, the gaffer knows that we all know that we're we're not good enough away from home, mm. um, but we're a, we're a top side, and I think. If we keep playing like we do here, we're no one's stopping us from getting automatic promotion. Um, so we just need to correlate that on on Friday, on on Saturday. So see see what happens, and all the lads will be up for it. It's a, it's a big game, so looking forward to it. Yeah, excited by it. I mean, it, it's important to have that in your in your game, isn't it? A bit of excitement, you know, to really look forward to it and have something to to really challenge for because this is the first time you've probably experienced something quite as serious as that in your career. Yeah, we've got I think we've got nine games left and we just know how big how big they are, especially away from home. Because at home we've we play we play some good stuff. Um so the away it starts on Saturday to how we wanna play. Um always on the front foot and we'll get we'll get in the faces and give them a game and they'll come on we'll want them to come off the pitch and go, Oh they're a good side then 
like Swindon done, like Mansfield done here. We want that. We want them to feel that away from home. So yeah, looking forward to it. Everyone is. And I've got to ask you why on on Everton and and, and their situation at the moment. Are they still in contact with the club? Yeah, I'm a I'm a massive Everton fan. Really, I, I go all the games and I, I'm a season ticket holder. So yeah, it's it, it hurts a little bit, but we it's a good club. They've got unbelievable staff in the in the building and the unbelievable players so I'm sure I'm, I'm positive we'll get out of it yeah. And the young man there Anthony Gordon who's, who's doing really well at the moment do you, do you know Anthony you know you, you speak to him at all? Yeah Anthony is doing really well I played I played with him a few times and every time I got it I was like giving the ball he's, he's excited and ever since I played with him I knew he'd go to the top and he's showing it now how, how important he is to Everton at the minute and coming on and expressing himself he's got no fear so that's what he inspires, like lads like me who's trying to play in the Premier League. So yeah, it's good. It's good watching him. And coming out today, the Tramway was just giving you that first team experience as well. You know, so there's different routes, aren't there, to, to make you make your way forward in this game? Yeah, I'd say I've, I've come I've come alone quite early. I'm quite I'm still quite young. I'm only 19. So a few of the lads at Everton are like 21, 22, and they still haven't went out on loan. So it's kind of like giving me a little bit of a head start, and I feel like I'm. That my performances are getting better and I'm, I'm unlocking parts of my game that um, I want to unlock to make it big. That's yeah, and the, the perfect end of the season, Everton stay up and, and Tramway get promoted. Yeah, that would be perfect then, um, Everton win the FA Cup. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We're in, the, in the quarter final, so hopefully uh, we'll all focus on Tramway at the minute, yeah, so automatic promotion would be very nice, yeah.